Hi folks. Welcome to another video in the series of why I love Japan. When I was in Japan numerous times, I've noticed one thing about vehicles when they stop at a red light. They keep it good safe distance from the vehicle in front of them as opposed to the United States where they jump on your bumper properly. It's the consideration they show while driving. Also the, uh, the conformity in Japan. A lot of business people dress in dark suits and attire and the men are well shaven. Now look at these two guys in Japan who are not shaven, and look how they were tied. And notice, of course, they're not Japanese, they're from the West. See? Leave it to the bums in the West, and I notice that a lot in Japan. When you see someone who's not, uh, has not shaved in a while, it's usually one of you Caucasians out there who, <laughs> who are not shaved, and look like slobs. Now, another thing about Japan is communal baths. They have no inhibition about nudity among the same sex shown to one another. So they gather and they take communal baths together and it's a way to relate to one another and have a good conversation. Another thing I noticed, because in a lot of movies, Japanese movies and dramas I see, there are scenes with communal beds. And the majority of them in these scenes have Mount Fuji on the wall in the background. Because it's Japan's reverence for Mount Fuji. Not only do they have that reverence among themselves, the populace, it's portrayed in their popular culture and popular entertainment. Whereas in the United States, if we had a similar mountain, the entertainment industry, the perverts in Hollywood, would do all they could do to degrade it. But not in Japan, their popular entertainment supports their culture. Now there's another aspect about Japan, white gloves. Many people in uniform, be it construction uniforms, uh, railroad conductors, taxi drivers, they wear white gloves. All over the place you see them wearing, <laughs> wearing white gloves. Now, the reason for that, I don't know, but it looks good representing cleanliness, I guess. Another aspect of Japanese culture which I find extremely amazing is one of the most technological advanced societies on this planet. While being one of the most technological advanced societies in this, on this planet, they hold on to their culture going back 2,700 years. And a good example of that are the brooms they use. Look at these brooms. <laughs> Those brooms must date back seven, 800 years. And yet, as well as their advance in technology, they hold on to their culture with something as simple as a broom. See? That's why I love Japan. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America, God bless the nation you happen to be, and God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Niangoku, Japan. See ya! <laughs>